Alright guys, welcome back to JForce Gaming and the reason why you click on this video is most likely you are finding out a way where you guys can change your GPS location all right, on your phone without physically being there and the most um, common thing that you know you guys face is probably if you want to spoof your location either you have to jailbreak your Android phone all right, or it just doesn't work as smooth as you wanted it to be or you know it's very glitchy and stuff all right well today I have the perfect app all right that can you know change my location on the phone or right, without physically being there and it's really reliable really safe and the best part is I don't even have to jailbreak my phone at all all right and what is the app I'm talking about? It is this i2 lab any go. All right, so I've been using any go all right for a long time to spoof my location, especially when I'm playing like geolocation based games, or sometimes I just want to you know hide my location from my friends on Snapchat. All right, I will just use this all right just to activate it, and it's very very simple. I can change my location instantly and anytime and anywhere I want it to be. All right, so my friend will think, hey, what am I doing here? Why am I there? All right, and after that, you know, it doesn't uh, you know affect my GPS location and um, yeah it works really really well and I don't have any issues with it it stays connected all the time all right and it spoof my location for as long as I want it to be and I can spoof it anywhere and whenever I want so this is a really really awesome tool all right, that I'm going to show it to you right uh, today and um, we'll be demonstrating it on my Android phone so they do have the Android app as well like, like right over here they do have the PC version as well if you want to use your PC to control it all right they do have the Mac and iOS version as well so yeah they have a lot for for all kinds of things but uh, generally for all the different OS's all right it works the same way as what I'll be demonstrating today all right so um yeah let me just go ahead and show you the app on my Android and show you how it's uh, successfully spoof my location so therefore do let me just go ahead and move you to my Android phone okay so what you have seen here all right on my Android phone here all right on the left is the AnyGo app on my right is my Google Maps itself so you show you you know uh, my location currently I'm using my GPS location on my phone itself right so I mean, I'm, I'm right at home right now all right so if I want to change any location right, I'm gonna change it to here all right I can just click on teleport but before you can do anything you have to you know set the mock location on your phone so you go to settings you just have to go to developer option if you don't know how to do that all right the app will show you how to do that all right and just scroll down uh, for a different phone we have um, at a certain location for my Samsung phone is all at the bottom here all right so I just need to select I any go all right and after that done with it I just need to go back to the app itself all right so right now after I setting that as on my in my phone developer option and don't worry about you know uh, messing with the developer option this is a very very completely safe thing to do all right if you guys know and um, yeah, so what I have to do is just probably like scroll out the map itself all right, and I can teleport to wherever I want. It's not limited to like my country, Singapore. I can teleport to anywhere I want. Okay, I can zoom all the way up the map, all right? You can see, you can zoom all the way out and select whichever country, anywhere where I want to be. So if probably I tell my friends, hey, you know, I'm probably currently in South, you know, South, uh, Saudi Arabia. All right, I just want, you know, I mean like, you know, UAE or right, in Dubai. I right, just need to click on Dubai, all right, and there's different modes you guys can see right over here, all right. You guys can see they have to coordinate the distance away from you, all right, and you know, um, there's various features that one that's teleport two point multi point. I will show you what the teleport means. I think teleport is pretty much self explanatory, all right. Just to click on teleport and bam, our teleportation success. And you guys can see on my Google Maps itself, all right, my location has been changed. So you guys can see if I zoom out, you can see I am in this area in dubai right now all right as you can see so yeah you can change to any location you want you can teleport to anywhere you want you know without any you know limits and constraints as well all right probably let me just demonstrate to you in dubai i think it'll be more interesting all right so um yeah it's a country that i've never been to yet but it's one of my, one of my bucket list i love to visit dubai one of the time all right so if you guys are watching this and in dubai uh do say hi all right so um let me just show you another spot, alright? So, you guys can see where I am right now, okay? So, I'm in this location right now. Let's zoom it up. Alright, mm, somewhere in Dubai. Let me just go to the city area. Let me just go to somewhere, tap out somewhere near the city area, alright? So, I go to here. Oh, where is it? Alright, city area, okay? So, for example, alright, you guys see the multi spot and the two spot mode, alright? So, if I were to go to here, alright, you guys can see there's two point mode. Alright, well, what does the two point mode 
do. I just need to click on two points and you can see there is an actual route that is being calculated and made all right, from the point that I'm currently at or the point that I'm currently spoofed all right, to another point that I want to go to. So you guys can see it comes out with an actual route to make it more realistic. All right, and on the bottom here, you can adjust the speed as well or you can have a variable speed. So the variable speed is not constant. All right. Like right now, I'm selected at around like probably 21.5 meter per second. If I have the speed is variable checked, all right, it will hover around like probably 19, 21, 20, or right? you know, goes up and down, but within the range, all right, to make it like moves more realistic as well, all right. But I'm gonna just keep it at constant speed, and you can see the icon over here, the cycling speed, walking speed, all right, and this is driving speed. I'm gonna leave it at driving speed. Once I'm done uh, selecting what the speed I want to be, all right, and uh, I can just click on start. Alright, and um, yeah, I need to go to settings again and ensure that this thing appears on top. Alright, um, yeah, some of the settings that I haven't activated. Alright, so once you turn it on, alright, alright, the hover window is open and you guys can see on my Google Maps itself, on the right itself, alright, I am moving in the direction that is specified by the route, alright, from where I am to the end point. And it's really, really amazing as you can see. So people will think that you're driving or you're on the way because you, it shows that on your map that you're moving all right especially really really useful if you're playing geolocation based games so you can just like move along the route and um do some actions and such you know it's really really cool so you can do that as well all right so when time you are done you can just pause for a while and continue right after that or you guys can just quit the whole thing immediately so you'll be quit and you'll stop where you are exactly all right and let me just go ahead and talk about the multi-point mode so um yeah so this is where i am i can just select Multi point, all right. So you can see the multi point is like this one plus one point right over here, all right. So I can select multiple point on the map. I can just tap 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 wherever I want to be. So, um, yeah, you can have a lot of points you want. So you can add like you know various location you want. You can add all at once and you can visit all of them at once. All right, multi point you can also select the speed. All right, and um. You want if you want variable speed or not and such. All right, and if you have all set, you just need to click on start. All right, and you guys can see that you know i am moving right now but one thing about this compared to the two point one the multi point one goes in a straight line so um there's not an actual plan route so it just like cut through the building so this is much a uh, much more faster way right, compared to a two point but if you're okay with it like that's cutting through the buildings all right so you just go all the way to the first point and then after that you'll go to the second one and then go to the third one fourth one and end of the that's that. So yeah, you guys can see it's been it's moving, it's moving. All right. So I just need to let it move and move. All right. So yeah, every time I'm done, I can just pause it or continue continue to move again. If I'm done, I just need to quit it. And yes, so I can quit it. So it's very very simple. All right. You can just teleport. Okay. And you guys see Bob below here. There's few few other buttons. There's one that's like Pikachu. All right. So all these are like various uh for for various games. So they have like certain features and settings. All right. Um, for a specified game. So if you play a lot of like you know Pokemon Go, you guys can use this. They have like certain features and settings that you guys can do, which is will be much convenient for you rather than using the normal mode. All right. So this is my uh, social mode. The first. Once I selected the social mode, so for example like Snapchat, Tinder, Google Maps, all these, right? You will just use the social mode, alright. So if you're playing like Monster Hunter now, alright, you guys can use this to, you know, they have certain features for that. And if you use like DQW, alright, if you play that game, alright, you guys can use it as well, alright. And below that, there is this thing that looks like a joystick because this is a joystick mode. So what a joystick mode means is basically there's joystick for you to control where you want to be. So um, you guys can see on the top here that is this play button, alright. So I can select the speed of the joystick I want it to be. So I selected it. All right, if I want variable speed, just click on play on the joystick itself, and you can see if I move my joystick around. All right, it will goes in the direction that my joystick is currently facing. So it's very very useful. I can drag the joystick around the screen to place in a very convenient position. All right, you guys can see. All right, so with my joystick itself, all right, it can go in any direction. So it, I can have free control of my movement and wherever I want it to be so you guys can just control it around so this is pretty much the joystick mode and it's very very basic and very self explanatory alright so you have freedom of movement wherever you want alright and the next thing you might be thinking is you know um, you know the location you know the address or the postal code alright 
but you don't know where is it on the map so this is where it comes in handy so I can just enter the address I want so probably it's like um, if I know like you know um, Changi Airport that's in Singapore I can just search Changi alright they also have one Changi street or what in India as well alright yeah, they have in Pakistan alright so um, yeah you guys can have um, you have in Nigeria alright you have in Singapore as well alright so probably if you're searching for um, or Changi in Nigeria and then click on that alright and it pops right out so I can just teleport right now and uh, I will be in Nigeria right now so yeah it's really really cool alright you guys can see alright so yeah you guys can search for the location if you know alright if you know the, the postal code alright so this is my home postal code alright if I click on that teleport and bam alright I'm back in Singapore at my home so yeah you can search by postal code by address alright so if you know the address a postal code alright you guys can use this to find the places you want to go very very useful features as well and you guys can if you guys you can see there's a history of it alright so you guys can see all the history that you have been to you have added to alright the, the route history as well alright so um, whenever you need the route back you guys can click on that alright you will bring back the history and you can, this is the route that I showed you just now I just can see this is uh, multi-point multi mode you guys can see yep so you, you can bring up the, the, the history all right this is a safe so if you have favorite see for me if I click on this area all right you can see the star icon on the top left all right so if I click on it all right I have favorite you can add this location I can name it whatever I want so if I go to the favorites tab you guys can see right over here all right this is the place I want just click on the uh, icon and after that you will bring me to the that I've saved so yeah you guys can save it very very useful feature all right and this is the iOS mode I think this is one of the newer feature they added in all right um, and I think it's only dedicated to um, Android app so if you have an iPhone all right and you have an Android phone you can use your Android phone to control your iPhone location via the Bluetooth mode all right so you just need to connect um, both phones to Bluetooth and you guys can spoof your iOS location using Bluetooth. I think that is really, really awesome and can control your using your Android phone. So if you have two phones and you want to control it somehow, you guys can do that as well. It's really, really awesome. And this is a very, very safe way all right, to spoof your location on your iPhone. All right? But I'm not going to do that because I don't have an active iPhone to demonstrate it now. So yeah, you guys can see all the features that you can do on this um, location spoofer and it does it, it, does it really, really well. All right. So right now, just let me just um. So what happens if okay, if you are like spoofing, you are done spoofing, and you want to use your GPS, your phone GPS per normal without it being spoofed? All right, all you have to do is probably let me just teleport it to Dubai back again. All right, so let me just spoof the location. So right now, my GPS is in Dubai, but I'm recording this at my home in Singapore. So um yeah. So if I want my GPS to work normally to function normally, what do I do? All right, either the well, one either I just quit the app. All right, so I just need to click the app. Alright, so I just need to like quit it off, slide it off, alright, and the app is gone. Alright, so just wait a while for my GPS to reset and it's back to normal. So once I quit the app, alright, my GPS will go back to normal and I can use it to navigate around my city um, normally without it being spoofed anymore. So you guys can see my GPS is back to Singapore. So you can see, alright, so now my GPS can work normally and freely uh, without being spoofed. So you want to spoof again, open up the app and you'll be spoofed again. That is very, very simple, very reliable and you can see it's really safe. It doesn't affect my GPS, it doesn't break my GPS at all. Alright, and the best part is I don't even need to root my phone as you guys can see my phone is not even rooted at all so yeah this is pretty much a demonstration on the Android app itself okay but um let me just, look, just do a very quick run through all right so uh, uh, for the PC version so if you're you controlling your phone on the PC version all right it's pretty much the same you just need to download the software connect your phone via USB cable enable USB debugging all right to ensure that your phone is connected successfully with the software itself all right and in the software you guys can also choose various modes as similar to the app itself or right, you can choose certain oh, so if you're playing like certain games like Pokemon Go or Standard on, on all these right you can, can choose the specific features for that social mode is like GPS like you know my um I the Google Maps, Tinder, and such. So I just need to click on that. Alright, you will install a package on my phone, and don't have to worry about that. Also, you are using the Windows version itself. Alright, you just install it. Alright, just let it run in the background. Alright, and yeah, you guys can also change the location 
on your phone itself so you guys can you know change wherever you want and you know it will change on the phone you know? so all the features that shown in the app itself all have it right here you guys can see there's the two spot mode multi spot mode or stick mode all right so it's over here you can search for location you guys can zoom out and just you know you can do the teleport function as well so yeah pretty much they have the same features as on the app itself so if you want the convenience right and you know you want to spoof it anywhere then you get the app itself but if you would like you know you prefer to spoof it on your home all right and you know free up some you know resources on your phone all right you guys can use the pc version just connect it to your phone all right and you know it's you can just start spoofing your location it is very very simple to do that as well all right but on the pc version i think there's another thing that you guys can do is um one unique feature is that they have these multiple devices all right so um yeah so for the multiple these devices thing is like you guys can connect multiple devices and spoof different location on different devices i think that's if i'm not wrong that's only limited to the pc version as well so yeah if you want to do like multiple devices you should get the, the version itself but pretty much all of the features the functionalities is about the same all right as on the android app itself so if you want convenience why get an android app if you want like you know a much more intuitive features or, or you just you just prefer to use a pc or definitely get a pc version as well so so yeah this is a um, quick run through on the on the pc version if you guys want to get a pc version so yeah like i say it's pretty much the same thing so yeah, this is the PC version as well. So if you're using PC, just download it from Windows. Alright, if you're using Android, just you know download it for Android. Alright, we'll bring you to the Google Play Store for you to download it. Alright, as you can see, it's pretty much the same. Alright, so except using your mouse and keyboard. Alright, compared to using touch screen. Alright, and if you really want to get this right now, alright, don't miss out on this opportunity because they are having this any go for Android Premium sale. Alright, that you know is it's very worth if you're getting specifically for Android because you know it's very very cheap right now. You guys can see it's only fourteen ninety five. Alright, and if you guys want a more discount or additional discount. Alright, because the original price is twenty nine ninety five. Alright, and right now the discount is for ninety fourteen ninety five. And you want it to discount even further, you guys can apply this at the Go Pro. Alright, you can apply it during checkout, and it will be much cheaper than fourteen ninety five. Alright, so if I do a quick calculation for you, alright, so uh, twenty percent off, so it's zero point eight times. 14.95 or right, you can only get it for 11.96 you can save even more all right with this android plan so it's very very awesome right and why do i get the premium version compared to the basic version all right so the premium one offers much more things at a much cheaper price all right so if you see the premium one the basic one only limited to like one or two device one device if i'm not wrong all right the premium one can do so many devices or right, you guys can see Alright, it supports 5 iOS devices and 15 Android devices. So you can spoof so much more devices at once. Alright. You can have a lot of like you know iOS with Bluetooth. You can have these features. Alright, support original Pogo and Monster Hunter now. So yeah, you have many more features for the premium version, which I definitely highly recommend you guys to get. Alright, if you are getting this, get the premium version. It will be much, much worth it. Alright, and save you so much more money with the additional coupon so yeah don't, don't miss out on this really great opportunity right now all right all the links to this android premium version as well as to the android version the windows version all the links will be in the video description down below for you guys to go ahead download it and you know get it for yourself and start spoofing today so yeah if you guys want a really really good comprehensive safe reliable and does not need to jailbreak your android phone at all all right to spoof your location for your favorite games or to spoof it on your social media apps all right this is the perfect tool and the perfect software to get it all right for your phone itself all right and i'm using this like i said i'm using this for a very long time i don't have any issues at all with spoofing my location on and off all right throughout the years all right using this and you know it was really great never have once i face any issues or any problems with it all right and yeah it's really really good so uh, don't miss out on this opportunity and don't miss out on this sale right now to get the android premium version right now all right so yeah that's all today guys before this video really helpful and did help you you know get the things that you want have to spoof the location easily all right to give you a thumbs up and without further ado this is jforce gaming and i shall see you guys in my next video peace out I wanna cry